Yes, and welcome to another edition of Improv Heaven and Hell. Yes, now if you're tuning in looking for your favorite women's beach volleyball tournament... Keep both hands where we can see them! That's right. There you go. All right, well, let's introduce some of our players tonight, shall oh, we? Good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our stage, Mr. Bruce Hunter! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Oldring! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roman Janilo! And gentlemen and ladies, Mr. Graham Davies! And let's not forget one and all, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Baird! Well, hello again, my friend! Hello, it's good to see you as well. Very well, good to see all of you. Yes, because by the end of this show, one of you is going to be punished. Yes. My favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. a few technicalities first. But first, the bingo ball selector of coincidence. Oh, yes. And the ball says... Oh, he's got it already. Oh, yeah. I'm quick. I-25. Uh, no. Oh, we got one. Good. There we go. Yeah, all, right. Good. all right. Uh, well, uh, um, let's try uh, having mm. a Bruce. And Peter. Yes. Yes, all right. Let's have them do it. Yes, thing. absolutely. Uh, let's have them do a scene. And uh, something theatrical, perhaps, they could uh, provide each other's yes. stage directions. Very good, very good. They'll provide each other's stage directions after their line of dialogue. It's all brilliant! Right. Yes, brilliant and naughty. Mm. All right, now let's get mm. started with a, uh, what's a blue-collar job other than construction? Postman. Postman! Yes. Postman. All right, they're postmen. There we go. Absolutely. <coughs> All right, this is how you do it. You go up to the house, you look at the stuff that's in the bag, make sure it's for this house, then you put it in the, uh, the mail slot. He said give me a big pat on the back and a friendly smile. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous today, sir. It's my first day, as you well know. <laughs> he said peeing his pants. Spray. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's not a good thing. Uh, dogs like that. He said uh, grabbing a piece of mail and sopping it up. <laughs> well, I'll take care of that, sir. Thanks, if you don't mind. He said wiping his whole body with it and then throwing it back in my face. Uh, sploosh. I'm just okay. nervous. Now, yes, sir, uh, should, should, I, uh, should I be in the passenger seat or the driver's seat? He said inquisitical, like... <laughs> uh, you, you, probably don't under, you probably don't understand. We're not going to be driving. We have to walk from house to house. He said crying? <laughs> and it's hard. <laughs> and he got arthritis. I can't walk. But I do it anyway. <laughs> he said pulling out an ointment and rubbing it on his arthritic areas. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> it's a great honor. I have heard many stories of you back in the day when you would deliver mail way up in the northern regions of Saskatchewan. <laughs> he said putting on a, a, a fake headband and dancing around like an Indian. <laughs> Not that good at the dancing part, sir, but I'm an eager employee. He said, grabbing his boss and kissing him on the face. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what I like to see. All right. <laughs> yes. We'd like to continue that scene, but it's a family show. It's a family show. Sorry Absolutely. about that. Careful, Miss Fortune cookies. Oh, quite. Ooh. Thank you so much. How very thoughtful of you. Oh, no problem at all. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? The fortune says... Place advertisement here. Well, interesting. But let's go for something else placed. Uh, let's try some sentences, shall Ooh, we? Ooh, the wacky sentences that right. the audience wrote. Everyone get up. You're going to use... Yes, very good. The sentences that the audience wrote before the show. Mm. Now, they're going to be... Uh, let's make them... Oh, the head of a board of directors for a company. What does this company make? What? Rubber, rubber chickens. chickens. Yes, All right. the rubber chicken com uh, uh, company. This is, this is the annual general meeting, and they're the board of directors. And here they go. Uh, welcome, everybody, to our annual meeting for the rubber chicken factory. Uh, we've had a bit of a problem this year. There's been some accidents with the chickens, and we just want to address that right now because, uh, as it turns out, all the ducks ended up exploding. <laughs> uh, so we won't be selling those rubber duckies anymore, just the chickens from here on in. Gentlemen? Uh, as uh, some of you know, I'm in charge of shipping. Uh, my name is Jack Mellenthorpe. I've been in the company now for 17 years. That's right. 
And on the very first day when I was hired by Mr. Miller over here, he grabbed me and said, I ate my own ear. <laughs> and I realized at that point that it was sort of a friendly company. <laughs> Didn't play by the rules, but I'm pleased to be here anyways. I, of course, as you know, are in charge of, uh, of hiring and firing and then rehiring people here at the Choke Your Chicken <coughs> Company. Right. Uh, we find that you people are the finest chicken, rubber chicken salesmen uh, we've ever had. And mm -hmm. I just want to give you one line. If you're going to go out there and sell those chickens, remember this. Where the hell are the cabbages? <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, because we don't yes. sell cabbages anymore. No. Strictly we, chicken, so we, forget yes, the cabbage thing. Yes, well, as part of product development, we've dropped the rubber vegetable line, and mm -hmm. we're going in a new direction. We're looking at yeah. rubber mammals, and uh, one of the things we're going on is platypus, and we've got a new slogan we think will really sell the idea. It goes something like this. Beam me up for the love of God. <laughs> it's a star. Very nice. Yes, there we go. Good. Good. Okay. You know, I'd like some chicken myself. Would you do? Well, yes, would. perhaps I know a place you can get it. Where's that? In these commercials. Oh. Coming up next on the Comedy Network, Dennis Miller Live. Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Weekly.